is Kelly Kirchberg with Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's video, we're sharing tips with you on how to look good on Zoom. We've all been stuck at home for the past few weeks or months. You might be quarantined in your house or not going anywhere. And therefore, you're taking a lot of your business calls, maybe you're talking with clients, friends and family, or your significant other on Zoom or another virtual platform. But the key is really knowing how to look your best on Zoom. So that's from both the setup or the atmosphere or environment where you're taking your Zoom calls and how yourself, your appearance on Zoom and what to do to make yourself look your very best. The first is the setup. So that is decluttering the background and environment where you're taking your Zoom calls. We've all seen people where maybe your significant other is getting out of the shower, your child is running through the background, or an animal or pet is kind of taking over in your Zoom call. None of which looks professional or looks your very best. So A, decluttering your space. Figure out where you're going to be taking your Zoom calls, whether that might be in your bedroom, in a designated office space, your living room, your kitchen, wherever you might be. You want to declutter and clean up that environment. The next thing is thinking about your actual space in terms of what you're going to look like on your Zoom call. We've all seen the lawyers or the memes where they're taking a Zoom call in a court case or in the legal room and they're in their pajamas or they're in their bed and you see pillows and sheets and blankets everywhere. Just looks very unprofessional and inappropriate for their Zoom call. So we want you to clean up your space, find a designated area that you're going to take your Zoom call in the next thing you can do is put your laptop up on a shoebox. You want to elevate it so that it's not looking like this on Zoom, but instead that it's keeping at your face height and face level. Simple thing is just grab a shoebox, grab a few of your hardcover books, whatever it is to help prop your laptop up. The next thing is, if you have this at home or something easy you can purchase on Amazon, is a ring light. So a ring light really puts the lighting all around your facial area and shows you, um, kind of highlights your face in this area in the best lighting. So what happens is if you use overhead lighting or a table lamp, it ends up looking really yellowy. So I'm gonna show you what that might look like. So this would be more of table light, which doesn't look really good. Gives a lot of yellow undertones behind something versus if you have a ring light, really can brighten things. So put your ring light behind your laptop and then put your laptop in front here facing that so this will highlight your features and frames. The next thing is to get the look achieve a good look, and there's a few quick tips for how to look good on Zoom. So regardless of if this is professional or you're doing a dating call with your significant other or friends, wearing bright colors really elevates you and draws the eyes upward towards your face, which is what you want to do to look put together on Zoom. So neutrals such as white, dark navy, and black, really wash you out when you're on camera. But wearing a bright color, such as you can see, I've got on more of a brighter sapphire, cobalt blue colored blouse today, that really highlights you and draws the eye. The next thing to think about is accessorizing. So adding a simple piece of jewelry really instantly kind of elevates your overall look and appearance. So I added just a kind of bolder statement earring. Again, this makes it look way more tied together than if I had nothing on at all, which kind of looks way more casual. So adding a simple necklace, so that can be a statement piece of earrings or a necklace, 
or you can layer with some hoops and delicate necklaces. Doesn't really matter per se what you have on in terms of jewelry, but the fact that it makes any outfit look more tied together or pulled together. The next thing is to add two basic makeup pieces. First, lipstick or lip gloss. So putting on something that's a little bit brighter or bolder than your normal day-to-day -day, um, chapstick or day-to-day -day kind of neutral colors, something brighter and bolder, and then putting mascara on your eyes. Mascara really highlights your lashes and draws the eye towards your face. All great things to look good on camera. So you don't have to put on a full face of makeup if you don't want to. So the next obvious, somewhat obvious tip should be to comb your hair. Wash your face, comb your hair, and really just doesn't mean you have to necessarily shower and get everything head to toe done, but simply combing your hair and then you can add a hair accessory should you want to. So you can add a hat on top if that's appropriate for your setting, or you can put simple hair ties or headbands, again, everything to kind of look polished from head to toe here. And then the final tip is to put some pants on or put bottoms on. The reason why you do that, even though you might not see that on camera, is the fact of A, should you get up while you're speaking on camera? But B, the most important reason is that it gives you that head to toe kind of polished, put together look if you're dressed head to toe. So if you have on workout leggings or just casual shorts or bottoms on, you don't feel as put together. But simply adding on a piece towards your bottom, such as I've put on with my cobalt blue blouse, I have on some white jeans, just kind of gives me that head to toe overall polished look. I look better and feel better because I'm dressed completely head to toe. So we hope these tips help. Don't forget to download our five outfit essentials to elevate your quarantine look and look chic. There's also a casual pieces um, wardrobe checklist. So you can download what are kind of the essentials that you should have to kind of look good when you're dressing casually. And you can check out and see the link here. And let us know in the comments below, how are you getting dressed each day for your Zoom calls? What tips or favorite pieces are you wearing to look your best on camera? We'll see you in our next segment.